twice a week at Seattle's wharves, defense experts board the northbound clippers. Their destination, Juneau, Alaska. Their task, to meet a new threat to the Western Hemisphere. On the schoolroom maps, the shortest route for bombing aircraft heading for the American coast from the shores of Asia appears to be a straight line across the ocean, 7,000 miles in length. But to the long-range bomber pilot, the picture is very different. His map is the globe. And across the curved surface of the Earth, the most direct route is far shorter and far easier. This is the Great Circle Route, 4,800 miles across the land arch to the Northern Pacific, a route studded with islands and natural harbors, providing good landing points for flying boats. On this Great Circle approach to the Western Hemisphere, the attention of strategists is closely centered. For now, they regard the far northern Aleutian Islands and Alaska as the first and most vital line of aerial defense for the cities of the Pacific coast. <coughs> Up the rock-bound Canadian coast, through the rain clouds drifting over the Queen Charlotte Islands, 